Okay, here's a good question. You asked to solve that quadratic equation. So you want to factor it. If you're using the AC method, multiply that times that, you get 180. Perfect. Then look for two numbers that multiply to 180, but they also have to add to 27. Uh, so 12 and 15, perfect. Uh, and notice they're both positive, so it has to multiply to a positive, has to add to a positive 27. Those are your numbers. So then what you do is you, um, a lot of people are tempted to just throw that in brackets and be done. Uh, but when you use the AC method, what you have to do is split that term. So split that into 12y plus 25y. And then carry the other stuff down. Now, group factor. Uh, I think 4 will go into that. And a y. So I'll be left with 5y plus 3. Um... goes into 25 and 9. Okay, I'm looking and, and uh, I had to pause the video for a second. Looking to see, well, there's nothing that'll go into 25 and 9. But when I look back, these are the numbers that I'm supposed to be using and I put in a 25. Whoops. Let me fix that. Uh, so 12 and 15y. Okay, there, now three will go into both of those. So three goes in, five y plus three. And when you use the AC method, this is, that's a good check right there. And this is another good check. If I look at that term and this term, I better have this and this that match. If I don't, then uh, I pick the wrong numbers here. Okay, so now in, the, in uh, the first one and the second one, there's a common five y plus three. I can factor that out, and if I do, I'm left with 4y plus 3 equals 0. Then the 0 property, 5y plus 3 equals 0, or 4y plus 3 equals 0. 5y, subtract 3 on both sides, uh, same thing here, and then divide by 5. So negative 3 fifths and negative 3 quarters. Uh, looks like it's that one right there. Okay, I hope that helps.